Draw a Christmas tree shape and cut it out of cereal box. I have two layers of cereal box glued together here. Place your cardboard cutouts on a plastic. I've just got them on a plastic sandwich bag here. Mix acrylic colors with white glue in approximately equal amounts. Apply it all to your shape, letting it seep around the edge of the cardboard. When this is dry, it's going to look like enamel. Like that. After about five minutes or so, when all the excess paint has had a chance to drip off, transfer them to a clean piece of plastic. And when you're doing that, if you see that there are some edges that still show, just spread a little bit of that over. And now comes the hard part. You're going to have to let them set up. And that might take an hour or so. Or if you're impatient like I am, you can use your hair dryer and speed it up with the hair dryer. Okay, so they're fairly dry. And now I'm going to drop my little drops of color on. And I'm still going to use the same paints that I had. So I'll start here. That's perfect. I'm going to do a row of white in between, so I'm going to go leave some space here. So I'm going to do all of those like that. And now I'm going to set those aside to dry. Okay, my pieces have dried, and after they dried, I coated them with some clear nail polish, and that gives them this really great shine. Just painted them black on the back, but um, now this looks like enamel. So you could simply poke a hole in the top like I did with this one and add a jump ring, and I just poked a hole with a, a map tack and just scooched it. But I'm going to show you how to do this wrap with the wire, okay? So I've cut a piece of 20 gauge wire about 10 inches long, and I made one loop at the end, and then I just turned it just to get myself started. And this is the bottom of the tree, so I'm just going to place this at the bottom of the tree, and I'm going to position it in the center. So now I'm all ready to turn my wire, so I'm going to bend my wire and go right straight across. Now if I just started going straight up, the tree could fall out. So I'm going to bend this down and I'm going to come down across the bottom just to hold that and catch it inside the wire. Now if you wanted to, you could place some beads along your wire like I did with this one. But I'm just going to show you the wire wrapping for this time. So I'm just going to wrap around the tree and then I'm going to come out in the back, like that. And then here I'm just going to make a loop. So I'm just going to cut this down. And I'm going to turn this down into a loop. And then straighten it out so that it's straight across at the top. So now, if you wanted to, you could add a bead at the bottom, which I did on this one. Or you could just leave it like that and place a cord through it and it'd be ready to go. You could also use these as a gift tag on a, on a gift or you could use them as a Christmas ornament. Attach a hanger and make it into a Christmas ornament. Here are the finished pendants. I placed this one on a silky cord that I added beads to and I put this one on a chain. This is a stretch cord and then this is just a black leather cord. So there's how easy it is to make some cute little pendants with cereal boxes.